Hi, everyone. A um, little bit different topic today. I just wanted to talk a lot about, let me take this off of here if I can do switch my view. Sorry. About fur oils. We think of fur oils like Christmas trees and Christmas time and winter time and all of that, pine trees and all, but they're, they have a lot of purposes. And I have some, I didn't do a PowerPoint, so I didn't do slides today, but because I wanted to do it this way, I lined up all the ones I could think of right now that have fir oils or spruce pine in them. And I want to talk a little bit about them, but I also want to show you, let me see if I can share my screen really quickly. And we'll just, I want to show you what I do when I'm trying to figure out, ah, hold on. I need to get <laughs> this. I do this every time. I have to get a screen open that I can then share. It won't let me just, I want to just get a Google screen, a Google, a browser window. So let me pull open a browser window that I can then select. Okay, so, okay, that's a good one. We'll just start with doTERRA and then I can go back. Let me get back to Zoom. Share your screen. Let's go to doTERRA just to show a few different things here. One, if I wanted to search for oils, right? It's going to pull up all of these that have fur in the name, right? You can see there we've got Siberian fur. We used to have white fur. I want to cover this really quickly. So we used to have white fur. White for, white fur had sourcing issues and doTERRA will never oversource something that will then like deplete it or take it from the earth. So years ago, probably about four years ago, I think maybe five years ago, they offered us Siberian fur as white fur phased out. So if you see recipes for anything, rollers or um, diffuser recipes or whatever that call for white fur, just sub Siberian fur for that. There's also a wheel. If you look up the chemistry wheel on doTERRA's website here, you can look up what other oils you can sub in case you don't have something that a recipe calls for or that you know that you need. If you want to look at more than just the products and you want to look at the blog, this will give you different recipes and different information regarding fur oils, right? You'll even see this. Oh, as far back as 2020. So maybe it's not been quite that long. Maybe three to four years since they offered us Siberian fur. So, okay. So here, let's, let's just click on this so you can see this. I don't know if that's true. I'm going to have to look at this a second because then also there's Siberian fur articles at 2017. So um, white fur oil uses and benefits. So this is where you can find even more info in the product. Let me go back in the product screen. It's going to give you some info, but if you want further info, jump into the blog um, or other. And then you've got here, right? It can be helpful after strenuous taxing activity, take advantage of these benefits. You can massage it. So Fur oils are really good for when you have fatigue muscles. They're also very good for like, here's an example of a recipe for um, evoking feelings of stability. And you're going to see this is a very compliant language, but um, doTERRA wants to keep these products available to us, which I appreciate. So they're going to use compliant language, evoke feelings of stability. And when feeling unsettled, right? So these these um, rooted trees and the oils that we get from them offer us grounding and stability. Oh, I didn't grab balance out. Balance is another one that has spruce in it because it's they're very grounding and they root us when we're feeling unsettled. You can grab a tree oil basically. So other highly aromatic oils, Oh, like high, other highly aromatic oils, white fur essential oil can be extremely helpful for homemade cleaning solutions. If you think back to pine saw, there's a reason that they started with pine saw. Now it's probably synthetically scented, but originally it probably had pine in it. And it says you can make your own pine floor cleaner at home using Douglas fir, white fir, cypress, lemon essential oil. Gives you a recipe there. You can mop or rag it into your DIY or dip a mop or rag into your floor cleaner and use it to wipe down any flooring. So um, you can also use it to clean your countertops. 
put it in a spray bottle and spritz down. So for people who are like, ah, I really like the pine salt smell and it's really, well, that's where scent is tied to, right? It's tied to memories and, and all, but if you really like that, then you can make your own. And because we have so many options, let me see if I can, I'll hold these up in a second. Um, whether you spend your days at home or at work, frustrating or tense situations are bound to arise. Diffuse white fur, essential oil in the diffuser. So you can make your own cologne, uh, lots of options. I have friends who like to shop at, um, Bath and Body Works and there are certain, um, soaps or sprays or whatever that they like. And we know most all of those are synthetic, which is why if you start to get headaches, when you smell them, that's why, because they're synthetic and the body was never meant to assimilate synthetics. You can Google the tones, you can search on their website and they'll tell you which tones they used. And you can pull those from your own essential oils and get that same type of smell, but without the synthetics. So you can do the same thing with perfumes you can do, or colognes, same thing. Um, this was one year they had said, um, it also referred to as a silver fir tree, white fur is, um, one year they recommended dripping it on a pine cone and putting it on your tree, especially if you don't have a real tree in your house, you can do this and then have that smell of a real tree in your home with a pure natural essential oil, but you don't have to use white fur. You can use Siberian fur. You can use Douglas fur. You can use black spruce. You can use a combination. If you think about um, Christmas tree shopping, there are so many options. When you go, there are, I think blue spruce is a big one here, but we have various different furs that you can use to drip on your um, a tree or on your ornaments. And each year they have given us different ornaments. Let me see what this one is. I have a little collection of them. So one year it was a bottle and I've seen people use this on their tree, but I've also seen people use this in their car and hang it from the rear view mirror as a passive diffuser. So you just drip it on there and you add more whenever you need. And you've got that great smell. If you've got multiple ornaments, great. You can do that. I'm trying to think, what's this? One? Oh, the pine cone. So we had this, ah, there we go. Cute little, it's not terracotta. I think they're usually made out of dolomite, but we've got these cute little pine cone ones. So lots of options there, but use your oils to um, do this. The other thing, so you get that great oil smell. I mean, a pine or fir that you're wanting, but also you're helping. Um, let me see. We also had big round coin looking ones, just different. I've got a little, honestly, a little collection of these. Sometimes I do like to just give these away or gift these to people. They're not just a Christmas time, winter time thing. So that's what I want to express. I mean, I've seen lots of different cute car diffusers, but that's, this is a great option. All right, let's go back one page. Let's do this again. Um, oh, oh, Northern Escape. One of the reasons this was released is because this is a great blend of fir or pine oils, spruce oils, all of those in there. And you can see it's got the black spruce, the balsam fir, the, let's see what else, some other trees, cedarwood and cypress. But then also there's the frankincense. Um, black spruce, Siberian for balsam for sorry I thought I saw another one but those are going to be the really strong tones that you're going to smell right off the top and that's a fun thing so if you've got balsam fur and you have a recipe that calls for that great if you got it as the product of the month this is why I recommend always getting the product of the month because we get these fun oils you never know when you might need it or maybe that's the smell you prefer when it comes to pine or fur um so but if you didn't get that or you don't have it, you can always get that smell. It's blended in with Northern Escape. We also, if you got that limited oil, Midnight Forest, let's see if I can even search for it. Sometimes it's a little tricky when, okay, the bath bars are available. Let's go, but see here where it says other, it might have an article here that we can read up on. There you go. This was released during pandemic in the last three years and for good reason there were a lot of things going around about um pine needle tea and different things like that well that's why this was released this is very effective for respiratory support 
all of the fur oils are. So if we look at, let's look at what's in Midnight Forest. It's interesting though, because they came out with that Shinrin Yoku at convention, but that was the, the thought behind this as well. The aroma of Midnight Forest is inspired by the Japanese practice of forest bathing. Okay. I do love this one a little bit better than the other, but that's okay. Everybody has different um, things they love. So in this, we've got Siberian fir, cypress, juniper berry, black spruce. You see these coming up over and over. Wild orange, frankincense, some caraway, pimento, cistus, which is in the ancient oils. I don't even know if we could buy that this year. I've bought, you can see behind me, maybe I've got my biblical or ancient oils. Um, pimento is also commonly known as allspice. So if you're familiar with allspice, um, so cystus there from the flowering rock rose and then labdanum oil, labdanum. I cannot say this word. I've got to go listen to it over and over so I can say it properly, but it comes from a cystus species. Um, so you've got all of these in this fantastic midnight forest oil. That's also helpful. But the reason I bring all of this up is this time of year, most everybody I know is coughing or congested or whatever it might be. There's lots of sickness going around. And I want people to know that it's not just on guard or it's not just breathe that you have at your fingertips. If you still want that, like, wintry holiday smell in your home you have so many options so let me stop sharing this so i can show you really quickly um i grabbed this many oils and i did forget balance but there are so many let me tell you what i grabbed holiday peace why do the holiday oils have so much fur in them so holiday peace and i if you notice this year we had this holiday trio you could buy it was holiday joy holiday peace and holiday love and you've got all of these fur oils, Siberian fur or Douglas fur, Himalayan fur in the holiday piece. It's just a very great combination of lots of fur and tree oils, along with a little bit of grapefruit. In the holiday joy blend, we have Siberian fur it pops up there again. I'm just trying to glance through quickly and see what else we have in these. The balsam fur in holiday love siberian fur again okay so i've got siberian fur i have douglas fur this one's a little bit sweeter like honey so if you don't like that sharp pungent fur smell start with douglas fur black spruce again one that is has a different smell than that sharp pine but it's still a great respiratory support oil there's the holiday love that we got one year the holiday joy holiday piece. And this one has a tree on it. Just <laughs> indication that this is a lot of, there are a lot of tree oils in here. Um, the holiday joy has a little bit more spice with that. So a little bit more cinnamon with the, the fur and the pine tree smell white fur. I do still have some of that, but then the Siberian fur, of course, stocked up on that one. Northern Escape, again, with all of those tree and fir oils in there. Midnight Forest, if you have any of that. I think it was a product of the month one month, but also we were able to buy it at a couple of different times. If you don't have it, grab the bath bars. Incorporating these oils into your daily routines can be really helpful. And so you've got these fir oils that are very grounding. And then also very supportive of respiratory support. So in a steamy shower in the morning, while lathering up with the Midnight Forest bath bars is amazing. Um, and then the balsam fur. I mentioned I forgot to grab balance and I'm sure there are more. Balance is one I like to use every day. So I just wanted to share and highlight the fact that all of these fur oils are so like they hit our senses for the holidays, right? We love that. But then they also are so great for supporting our respiratory system during this time of year when it's getting hit with lots of different things. If you're ready, when you get hit with these different pathogens that are going around, it doesn't tax your body as much if you're just ready to go and your body's ready to fight that and you can support it along the way. Being prepared and preventing is way better and way 
I don't know the right word. It's not as taxing on your body as when you get really sick and then you have to get better from that point. So do what you can diffuse these on, like I said, passive diffusers or in the car or on your tree or in your diffuser, whether it's water-based or the mist or the aroma ace or one of those that is a more of an atomizer. Diffuse these oils and support your family. You can make rollers out of these if you want recipes on which ones to add together. I'm happy to pull some of those. Oh, I had one more thing I was going to show you. I apologize. I got into doTERRA's website and then I forgot to show you my other trick. So the other thing I'll do is fur, I'll just search this, fur oils and respiratory system. There we go. Respiratory health. Here we go. I Google all the time and you'll find resources all over the place. Some from NIH, if you want to find specifically um, like published articles, um, clinical trials and all, then you can go to PubMed. But if you just want to search and kind of see what you can find that supports, oh, there you go. There's NIH, essential oils in the treatment of respiratory tract diseases. And you'll see what things they tested and you can click into there and read through it and see what was most beneficial because they'll do a summary on it as well. But you can kind of just Google and see what you find that help with respiratory. But I did specifically for oils. So Siberian furs, the first one that popped up is a powerful essential oil for respiratory health. It's antiseptic, anti-inflammatory and decongestant properties. If you don't want to do fur oils, if you say, you know, I really only have Douglas fur, you can search Douglas fur oil benefits, right? And see what it's specifically good for. So doTERRA pops up. That's exciting right there at the top. Um, upload. So it says they're uplifting a positive environment, but if you wanted to, okay, this is interesting. This essential oil soothing in case of unwelcome muscle spasms, such as a persistent spastic cough. This is a common thing right now. People are like, well, I'm not sick anymore, but golly, I've got this like cough that won't go away. Right. And if you're like, I don't know if I really trust that site, read on, find other ones, you know, antibacterial. Also, you can check your books. I have resource books, right. That I trust and I can search the oil in that book, whatever book you have, just, it can be anything. I have this one sitting right here. So I'm going to quickly flip through until I get to Douglas fir. And if I have a really old book, it might not be in here. It depends on what version I've got. And so, um, but you can download apps and all as well. But this says here, the properties, sorry, that's what I should have searched. So properties, antioxidant, analgesic. So that's pain relieving, um, antimicrobial, antiseptic, anti-catarrhal. I can't say the word right. Sorry. Astringent, diuretic, expectorant. And expectorant is like when we think of, like mucinex or robitussin, right? Where it's going to break up that mu mucus so that the cough is productive and you want your cough to be productive. You don't want to be coughing for no reason. You want it to break it up, get that out of there, that junk. Um, laxative, sedative, stimulant, tonic. So it has all of these properties. And then when it goes into top uses really quickly, congestion and sinus issues apply to chest or the bridge of the nose. Um, respiratory infection and cough apply to your throat, um, apply to your chest, diffuse, you can always dilute these, but also these are oftentimes very gentle, but like Siberian fur, where it's got that really sharp, pungent smell, it's going to be a little bit irritating. So dilute it, dilute it in a lotion, or we've got the, I took mine upstairs, the doTERRA unscented lotion you can use. You also have coconut oil. So it's just your preference. What do you want to do? Um, also really good for muscle and joint soreness, rheumatic and arthritic conditions. That's exciting. So maybe during this time of year, you want to apply a Douglas fir, you know, to your lotion that you put on your hands if you've got um, arthritic hands or, and then you still kind of have that festive smell, but you're helping your body. And then it says constipation, which I didn't even know about that for Douglas with Douglas fir. So anyway, lots of options there. And then you can search something else. If you're like, well, I just really want to look at, you know, I got this balsam fir and I don't know how to use it. Then just Google it or look it up. It's not in this book because it's a product of the month and you don't, oftentimes you don't see those in here, but, um, black spruce, I just happened to stumble on that 
wow, insatiable eating due to anxious feelings. I had no idea that was a use for black spruce diffuse and or apply to pulse points. So if you get anxious and you start eating, not because you're hungry, but because you're anxious, black spruce might be what you need. Chronic joint back pain due to poor circulation and stress. Wow. Apply to your spine over your back to the bottoms of the feet and areas of concern. You can repeat this two to four times a day. That's going to be a good one to have in a roller or in a lotion that you can apply several times a day. And this is black spruce. Black spruce is one of my favorites right now, by the way. I love mixing it with grapefruit and diffusing it. It's just yummy. Um, feeling disconnected from potential or thwarted. So if you're not feeling connected to what your potential is, use Douglas fir. Or no, I'm sorry, use black spruce. I'm like staring at my screen. Use black spruce. This is all in this essential oils made simple. You may also see this time of year, a lot of books um, going on sale from last year because they've updated them with the new products that doTERRA released. So you might get a really good deal on an older version, which is not a bad idea. This is first edition. I don't even know when this is from what year. Let me see if I can find it. Maybe it doesn't say they're still valuable because if I can't find it in here, I'll Google it. Um, 2020. So this is almost four years old now. And I'm still using it. Um, adrenal or nervous exhaustion and fatigue and melancholy. Diffuse and apply to forehead, above kidney area and over your heart. Didn't know black spruce was good for adrenal fatigue. So, so many options there. So many things. Just find what resonates with you. And like I said, if I can't find it. So like, let's see balsam fir. Because we have essential oil benefits right there. Let's see. I always skip down past the sponsored. I don't like the sponsored ones. They paid to be there. So I like to skip down. <laughs> um, plant guru with the balsam or aromatic properties of balsam fur. It's a particular use in bath oils, perfumes, and other cosmetic products. It combats rheumatism, heart disease, kidney problems. It can treat infections, boils, insects. So see so many uses, so versatile. Um, then we've got doTERRA here. This is kind of fun. So this comes from the blog. See how it's kicking me right over and I'm browsing the Canada website. This is not a bad idea. Just a heads up. Know this before you log into yours or whatever, but there are laws in different countries. And sometimes one country is a little more free and we can see a little bit more about these oils in that country, just because they're by doTERRA abides by those laws on that country's website. So, or the, the website they have in that country. So it also tell you which ones are good with it. So anyway, you have at your fingertips so much information to be using these, pull these out and use them, especially these oils that we get randomly. And you're like, well, what do I do? Um, but I love that scented ornaments with the balsam fir. I, people are constantly asking for, and especially when people come to you asking for white fur and we don't have that anymore. You're like, well, I don't have white fur, but wow, I've got. You tell me which fur you want. You want a blend of furs. You want the sharpness of a Siberian fur. You want, you know, whatever you want. I've got these. So um, just keep that in mind and use these. Use them for, for your health and for your benefit. But I just wanted to share a couple of resources in the way I use things. Um, like here can be added to massage oil and lotion to help increase blood circulation I normally would go to Aroma Touch, but golly, why not use balsam fir if we've got it? Maybe it's the better fit for you. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful in how to use your fur oils, where to use them, and why you might want to use them. And I hope everybody has a great holiday season. We may not do a call next week. We're getting closer to the holidays and family time. And I know that a lot of people are just, I, these last couple of weeks have been crazy for me. I keep thinking, well, it's going to slow down a little bit, you know, life's not going to be quite as busy and that doesn't happen. So, um, probably not a call next week. If you're celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you're not, I hope you have a great winter season with loved ones and, and doing whatever makes your heart happy, but yeah, get out your oils and use them. And if there are more for oils that you want to get now, great that, you know, grab those too. We do still have that frankincense promotion going on this month. So take advantage of that. Every 200 PV order actually Every 200 PV on any order gets you a free frankincense. That's one you're going to want for uh, the whole year. Um, also, it didn't touch on much of this in any of the things I looked up, but the fur oils are really good for evening skin tone. So if you're wanting like a topical application for it, you can add it to your, whether you use doTERRA's um, skincare or use your own. 
you can add a drop of any of these black spruce, Douglas fir, Siberian fir, and it can help even skin tone, especially if you do that regularly, but lots of ways to use these. Um, also frankincense. That's what made me think of that as the frankincense is so good for skin as well. Um, we've been dealing with dry skin issues right now. Our winters here in Utah are incredibly dry. So that's, what's on top of my mind right now, especially as we're washing hands a lot and making sure we're using really good, um, lotion. I mentioned last week on the recording that I sent out that I needed to get on and buy that restorative hand cream. I've gone through it so fast. I have one or two more up here in the boxes, but I love that it comes in a tube now. Um, I don't mind the, the little pot when I'm using it myself, but if I'm sharing with other people, I don't know, I get funny, but that has that Malama in it. Malama. I say it wrong every time. Anyway, this has some really great oils, this blend of wild orange, cedarwood, coriander, amorous. Some of these oils we can't get. Lemongrass, ylang ylang, magnolia, the pepper zichuan, buku, nayo, and then of course the Hawaiian sandalwood. So this comes um, from Hawaii. This I think is limited time also. So but get the restorative. Well, you can also get the moisturizing bath bar. I feel like the, I also want to point this out while we're right here. This is another thing I want to say. The Midnight Forest bath bars are massive compared to a regular bath bar. Grab these, get yourself a little, they came with these, um, pouches, these scrubbing pouches. You just put the bar of soap in there and that way you can lather it up. And this is your own personal pouch. Um, and it has a little strap on it so you can hang it in the shower and then you don't have to find somewhere to set it or whatever. If you didn't get that and you can't get those anymore, get a pouch somewhere. I mean, these that I bought through Walmart, not big enough for Midnight Forest, not even close, but you can get one or you can have somebody like knit one or crochet one. It's such a great use, especially as your bar gets kind of small and you don't want to lose the last of it. It just holds it in there and you add a new bar to it and you're good to go. Years ago, they used to be a bigger deal and Funny enough, I have not seen them very much anymore until doTERRA released that. And I was very excited. But I've got a couple of boys who prefer a bar of soap and that works for them. And if I showed you, let me tell this, I have up there a bunch of bars of soap. My sister makes bars of soap. Well, my niece, the cutest ones. So it's kind of fun to have those in its own um, scrubber pouch. So if you can't find that, find someone who will knit or crochet you one, or maybe you can search online and find one somewhere if you didn't get doTERRA's. Anyway, moving on. That was a complete side tangent there. Anyway, hope you all have a great holiday season. We'll see you on here probably at the first of the year. Probably won't do a call on the first unless I can record one before that. If I find out what the deals are um, in time, then I can do that. Just don't set your LRP for the first of a month because you just don't want to miss out. And, and if you already did your LRP and you didn't know that the frankincense thing was coming, you can message in or call in and get bump up your order. You know, like if you already did an order of 125 PV and you're like, ah, oh, shucks, I missed out on that. You could call in and do another order and, and have them combine it and maybe add that frankincense to it. Doterra is really great about that. So, all right. Hope you all have fantastic rest of the year. I'll probably see you in the new year if I don't see you before then. If there's anything else going on, I'll probably post it on my Instagram story, which I also share to Facebook. So follow me in both places or one or the other if you want to see in case there's anything else that I share. So, all right, goodbye, everyone. <laughs>